Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. You should always back up your data to prevent against data loss. Note that you must be in single user mode in order to do this. QuickBooks recommends that you back up your files daily. That way, if data within the company file becomes corrupted or lost, you can restore a copy of the file from a backup copy. Now, after restoring the file, however, you may need to re-enter the transactions that were entered since you created the backup file, but that is far less work than having to recreate the entire company file from scratch. To create a backup copy of the current company file, select File from the menu bar, and then choose the Save Copy or Backup command. Once you do that, the Save File Type or Save Copy or Backup dialog box will then appear. Now here's where you select the type of file that you want to create. To create a backup of the company file, select the Backup Copy Option button within the dialog box and then click the Next button to continue. Now in the next screen you select whether you wish to save the backup file locally or online. If you want to store the backup copy on a removable media, such as a CD, DVD, or network drive that is backed up routinely, then select the local backup option button. You can select the online backup option to try the QuickBooks online backup feature if desired. This is an additional fee-based service, however. For the purpose of our example, we'll demonstrate creating a local backup. If you select the local backup option, and then click the Options button at the bottom of the screen, that will open the Save Backup Copy Options, or the Backup Options window. Now this window allows you to specify the settings of your local backup copy. Now in the Local Backup Only section within this window, enter the pathway or folder directory where you would like to store the backup copy. If desired, you can click the Browse button to open a Browse for Folder dialog box. Now once you've selected the folder where you would like to save your copy, you can check whether you want to add the date and time of the backup to the file name, which is recommended, and you can limit the number of backup copies within the folder to a specified number. At that point, click the OK button to return. At that point, you can click the Next button to continue. Now in the next screen, you can schedule when you want the backup to occur. To create a backup immediately, just choose the Save It Now option. To save now and also set future backup times, you can choose the second option. To only schedule future backups, you would choose the third option. So for the purpose of this example, we'll just select the Save It Now choice, and once you've made your selection, click the Next button to continue. If you do this, QuickBooks will then open the Save Backup To dialog box, and here you can change the file name if desired. Otherwise, just click the Save button to save the backup copy. Now once QuickBooks has finished creating the backup copy, it will display a small message box informing you of its success. At that point, you can just click the OK button to close the window once you've finished. And there's the backup file that I saved to the desktop. Of course, in reality, you would want to save it to a medium that's not on the same physical disk on your computer as your company file. So basically, save it to a flash drive or a CD or some sort of removable media so that your backup can be stored not only off your computer but off-site in case of a really dire emergency where you would need to have a backup from another location. So that's really a good idea to put the copy onto some other medium other than your computer. And you can keep copies on site and off site depending on how complex or large your company is. Like what you see? Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. Over two dozen titles are available in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more.